Hello all you starfighters out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Starfield. Well, we have, uh, we're back into the uh, UC uh, United Colonies uh, Factions mission, and we need to go see Percival and Hadrian uh, here in the uh, local bar here on Mars. So let's go ahead and get in there and see uh, what they have to say. All right. All right, here we are. Now, as uh, I'm playing along, you might notice I've increased considerably in credits and stuff. Uh, that uh, uh, I've been doing some side missions and stuff outside of the main quest, so uh, just to uh, be able to uh, continually kind of build up my skills and stuff. And probably figured it's stuff that, you know, boring stuff, so. Alright, here we are. Uh, here they are. Percival. My God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> You're no hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Okay, so we've got to go in the back here and see what the hell the deal is. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. Well, let's see. Too much trouble? Exactly how I described. Nah, it's a little more gunfire than usual, like on my like on my delivery jobs. But nothing I couldn't manage, you know. That's well. That's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that work up. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. Well, I've only read about the cabinet in civics class. Never expected I'd get to talk to them. It can be a daunting experience, which is why I wanted to make sure before you agreed to anything, we gave you the whole truth. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out, that was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare, a practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago and the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Yeah, I actually know who you are in your past. Well, that's really none of my concern. Oh, well, that, um, that means a lot. It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground. 
but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the colony war. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Well, okay. Uh, let's go talk to this cabinet. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. Okay, all right. Wow. Uh, 7,300 credits, 1,000 credits. So we've completed... Uh, completed this portion of it so now we've got to meet Hadrian in New outburst. Atlantis which uh, is oh here's the elevator here yeah okay so all right so once I get to New Atlantis uh, we'll uh, see what Hadrian has to say Okay, we're here Captain. at Mast, and we're about ready to catch up with Hadrian. Uh, talk? The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But, listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC, it's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I am a clone. A clone? Of a man named Francois Sanon. Oh, man. One time fleet admiral of the UC during the colony war. Former head of the UC Navy. Well. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated in Old Earth Latin, a title he earned. Ve Victus, The program huh? I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians, secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. Well, so uh, more interested in what this has to do with us addressing the cabinet. I'm getting there. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Hmm. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this oh, day. Oh, great. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. All right. Well, yeah, you're not your father. If the cabinet doesn't see that, it's their problem, not yours. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or if you've got any last minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. No, no, I don't have any questions. Nope. So. Then I guess it's just a matter of. The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Oh. Sounds like our cue. Okay. Here we Let's go. Let's get up to the cabinet then. Okay, Cabinet Chambers, Interstellar Affairs. 
Okay, here we are. Ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Ah, uh, well, you know, Hadrian made it clear that addressing this issue required the utmost urgency. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope we'll determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. Yep. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Well, let's see, we're still trying to figure out what we're facing. We can't make an informed decision without the data. Let's see, let's see, we need the archive data to find a way to stop a possible Terramorph apocalypse, which, yep. Uh, I suppose we're still trying to figure. Hmm. That is something to consider. Though we also have to take into account the nature of the data you require. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. Oh, shut While up. no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask how many deaths the cabinet requires to act. Fifty? Fifty thousand? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this Terramorph seem at all alarming to you? Uh, let's see. I only know what I was told. Uh, it, uh, it's tissue matched ones from Ladinia. Just taking her word for it as well, then. Hmm. So it would seem. Oh, jeez. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position... Would you grant the request made to open the archives? Oh boy. Well, if there's a chance what happened on Tau Sini could happen elsewhere, we need to grant this request. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Well, I am not. I've heard nothing here to convince me that we should do anything but wait. And I will not risk galactic peace on a question of if. Yes, a fair assessment, Chief Diplomat. So then, while the data you two have presented is compelling, I think we can safely say it's insufficient for the level of action you've requested. Perhaps once we've... What was that? Oops, well... Attention. Attention. An incident has occurred. Facility lockdown engaged. Incident? Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. What? Terramorphs. More attacks. Yeah, see, told you. Just ya. as predicted. Good God. They're... 
There must be another explanation. The, the creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti-Xeno squad, though, is off-world. Going to take a while to bring them in. Well then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. Mm. You two, we can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. All Let right. Let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it, ma'am. Captain, on, I'm right behind you. Let's on our down. way. Okay. Look out, guys. Come on, you're in the way. Uh, the Nat Station. Let's get down to the Nat Station. All right. Oh, crap. Uh, let's take this. Come on. Uh, I need to equip it. All right, come on. Uh, inventory. Where did it go? The new item. All right, let's equip that. Please, now can't. let's. Ah. All right, come on, come on, let's. You're nuts. All right, come on, citizen. Calm down, calm down. Ah. Alright. Ah, oh, these guys, come on, come on. We're just trying to stop it. Oh, what a piece of crap gun. Alright, alright. Come on, one more. One more. We're almost got him down. Alright, he's down. Who's Alright, I think... Are we good? Do we got them all secured? Alright, what's next? Oh. Oh. Okay, one more. Got him? Oh. Come on, he's subdued. Oh, come on. Talk. Yeah, I did. We've got him subdued. Okay. I guess I got one more to take care of. Not going any. All right. Hopefully, this isn't a Bethesda bug. I guess we've got to get her to the point that. Keep just blasting away at her. Incapa there we go. There we got it. Okay, now we can talk to this guard over here. Thank you for what you did. We didn't we didn't want to hurt them. No, of course not. The way not. those people were acting. I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? Oh boy. I I don't know. They were down at the port, and they just started screaming. We tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but but some of the other officers down there 
We couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. Yeah. They went berserk. Fermonic projection. Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're gonna need to be real careful with our fire and keep that EM weapon at the ready. All right, sounds like we need to hustle. Let's do it. Nat's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them. Okay, let's uh, get rolling. Oh, we better. Now, I'm not gonna use this stupid ass gun for the terramorphs. I need to put something a little bit better in. And why don't we start with this? Let's see, the regulator? Well, it's either gonna be the regulator. Yeah, let's start with the regulator. Let's see what happens with that. That's got the most damage. All right, off to the mass. Let's get to the spaceport. I'm sure all hell is breaking loose down there. Oh boy, not looking oh my good. God, no time to waste, Captain. Boots in the dirt. An evacuation order has hey, been you got it. I see we got a hole already into the barrier, so let's uh, haul butt. You might back up. Hey, stand there. I'm here on your guys' side. This, uh... All right, let's see here. Let's get this Terramorph out of the way. Oh, come on. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Well, I can see this freaking gun's not going to do it. All right. Uh... Let's go with the, let's go with, uh, let's go with this one here. Help! Oh, God. Captain! Oh, look out, look out. to be okay. It's not real. Whatever you're experiencing right now is no, not real. No, I know. Come on. We have to put down that floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's throw a grenade out there. I'm sure it's that's going to. It's here, it's here. Uh, all right, come on, come on. All right, Watch we're getting up. it. Oh, uh, man. Oop, I better... Shit. Let's get some of that going. All right. He's got me cornered. Come on, let's get this thing dead. All right. Oop, there, that's... Dead, level 18. Is that it? Okay. Alright, let's grab our stuff out of here. We did get a, a new level Wait, out of that. Officer? Are, are you and this woman uh, experts? Take whatever we can get right now. We've got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad, but we're barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before, huh? Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I, I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. Okay. We'll hold them as best we can. All right, Sergeant, you got it. Uh, all right, let's go speak to the fire team. All right. I had to. I had to, or else they would have killed us. Yeah, okay. Oh, the fire team's up here, I believe. Alright, let's, uh... Let's put a different gun in. That one did okay, but I think we've got better. Uh, let's see... Uh... Oh yeah, this one here. Yeah, this is the one we want. This is the one I used on the one out in the field. Okay. All right, where are we at here?
Oh. They do have them locked down, huh? Oh. Yep, there we go. Let's take this let's take this thing out. Oh boy. You know what? I should be taking some aid here. Let's do this. We need to take a heart. And we need to take an amp. And one of these gives damage resistance. Let's take that. Alright. Yeah. Everywhere. All around. Oh, Nowhere settle settle down, settle down. Alright. Come on, come on. Alright, let's get these terramorph creatures out of Closer the way. Closer now. Alright. Is there another one over here? Where are we at? That's one. Oh, I guess we got him. Alright, it's back to talk to the sergeant. Yep, okay. Let's talk to the sergeant. Oh, fire team leader. Oh. Heard you might be looking for some backup. You say the word, we're out there on your six. You two have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Uh, I want you just watching our backs. Roger that. We're on you. Anyone nosing around here is gonna have a All right, so I guess we got another freaking terramorph up here someplace. Let's go get rid of this one. All right, we took one down. Is there another one up here? Oh, oh, the one that's already dead. Oh no, it's not dead. That one was just freaking sleeping. They're going to turn on you. Kill them, kill them first. Oh crap. Okay, now I'm beginning to understand these terramorphs. That's where those voices are coming Put from. Down your weapon. Okay. Just... We just want to be friends. Oh sure. Come on. Come on. We're getting it. They're everywhere. All around. Come on, Nowhere load up. Alright, that one's dead. Target All down. Right. Nice okay, work, Captain. let's go talk to the sergeant. And let's get this blurriness out of our eyes. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's... Oh, we can just hop over right here. Ah, uh, we can put the gun away now. Okay. Well, that certainly was the better gun. Okay. All right, Sergeant. <sighs> Guess they weren't kidding about you two. The universe put the right people in the right place. Hmm. Well, that's fairly profound. You all held the line. You're the heroes here, not us. Hmm. Certainly doesn't feel like it. I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the President. Yep. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Okay. Alright, well... Yeah, you better get busy here. You got a mess to clean up. Alright. Okay. Uh, Alright, back. Back to the cabinet. All right, where are we going here? Okay, in around the corner here. Yep. 
Over here. Thank you, gentlemen. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. Yes, ma'am. Ah, there you are. I believe we have some things we should discuss. I believe the next we time do. Terror morphs rear their ugly heads. The UC is going to be ready. Yeah, okay. Let's talk. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an mm -hmm. apology. Well. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. Agreed. Thank you. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Mm -hmm. Now, after today's events, the cabinet has decided to revisit its previous decision. Uh huh. We will be supporting your collection of the Terramorph data from the archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. Nice. Okay. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the cabinet has authorized me to reinstate mm. you, Hadrian, effective immediately to your former rank of major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes. Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy mm -hmm. are facing right now. Well, the cabinet guess... wants you, Captain, to be that representative. Oh, great. Uh, if you're... If you're sure that that's the wisest course of action, uh, I'm just some vanguard. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, yeah, I'm sure if that's the wisest course we of do. action. In exchange, we're willing to fast track your citizenship Ooh. upon collection of the data. Ooh. So, will you help us? Ah, uh, you can count on me, ma'am. I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. Okay. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. We are dismissed. Okay, sure. Damage to the space. Sure, Madam Prez. Okay, more credits. Together for that data. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Deliver news about... Oh, yeah. Uh, we should do that as well. Friends like these speak to Daphne. Okay, so that's what we're currently working on. Madam President, you're stuck behind a door. Here, let me help you with that. We're going to get to the bottom of what happened at the spaceport. I bet you will. All right, let me go out the other door, and then you can not be stuck behind that door. All right, uh... Where do we got to go? Ah, oh, see? Told you I was able to get out of there. Okay, Interstellar Affairs. Let's go see uh, this fine young lady here. Yes, yes sir. Consider uh, done. Deputy Elizabeth McIntyre. Well, hold still. Don't walk away from me. Just stand right there. What? Stand right there? I want to that talk must to make you. you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second in command. Okay. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. Yeah, well, you well. You have my gratitude. Okay, thank you. I was also you. told the President wants us to get you into the Armistice Archives ASAP. So, I've got no time to waste. You know what the Archives are, correct? Yeah, well, yep. <laughs> like, uh... Uh, let's take the, uh, well, United Colonies. Let's, let's put it, yeah. It's where the Collective stashed all our best weapons technologies after the Colony War. It was a mutual agreement, but I suppose you touch on the spirit of it. So, you also know then that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Mm-hmm. 
Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency well. and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Okay. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than okay. done. Okay. Ah, uh, you would think they'd be clamoring to help after the spaceport attack. I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. Great. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table uh. here. Damn. No, that doesn't mean we can't get creative. Okay. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Well, let's start with uh, Balmore of House Varun. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. Uh huh. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. All right. Uh, well, uh, that actually sounds pretty promising. It does, but there's a concern. Oh, always We're not a concern. We're percent sure Balmore is actually still alive. Like his nope. public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Oh, great. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Oh, great. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Well, uh, I'll, uh, I'll track him down. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Okay. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Oh, great. All right. Well, all right. Uh, let me, uh, okay, well, let me go take house for room, and then I'll come back and talk to you about, uh, the Radcliffe. All right? All right, so, oh, you're gonna make me, you're gonna make me talk about, okay, Captain, fine. would you like to finish your briefing on the ambassadors? Yeah, yeah, that's, tell me about Radcliffe. <sighs> The good Ambassador Ratcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War. Oh, boy. And her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Uh, no doubt. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools okay. to get her code. All right. Tell me about these other tools, then. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. Oh, I bet. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. Well, we sure as hell don't so, want that. If you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Report suggests there's a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for intel. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Okay, I think that's all the info I need for the moment on... Uh, Ambassador Radcliffe, let me uh, get busy. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up, you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. Now, 
If you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'll... I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. All right. Be smart out there, Captain. Okay, well, let's go... Let's go talk to Radcliffe. Okay. We need to dial up... I got something here. Uh, aid. Where is it? Uh, all right, that's a plus 20% persuasion chance for five minutes. So let's take one of these guys. Whoa. All right, where's this Visitors ambassador are at? only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conference room. That means you. Okay. Where are we at here? Terramors, as in more than one? All that security and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. All right. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? This building is Freestar Sovereign Territory. So in here, we're the law. I understand that. Okay. All right. All right, Ambassador Ratcliffe. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? I'm here on behalf of the United Colonies, and we need the uh, Freestar Collective's help. Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there. Sure. Truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy. Yeah, In yeah. order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Oh, come on, ma'am. Uh, you heard correctly. Well, we, we need that access to the archives. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. Yeah? I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? All right, please, Ambassador, just listen to what I have to say. Otherwise, you might have a Terramorph eating your butt. You're really going to push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. Ah, uh, thank you, Ambassador. Just hear me out. I'm listening. All right. Holy crap. The UC might have done wrong in the past, but it's been nearly... 20 years since the calling. Let's just take a gamble on this. Less than a generation. Hardly long enough to claim the UC is completely reformed. Okay. All right. Not, all right. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, boy, this is going to be tough. I need, I need this Working one. on borrowed time, aren't we? Oh, crap. I'm going to fail. Uh, I, I suppose you might be right. Oh! Easy to lose sight of the big picture sometimes. Well, Captain, you you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm going to need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. You go in once. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. I'm sure they so, will. So, do we have an agreement? It agreed. Excellent. Follow me. All right. Follow Radcliffe. Get your butt out of that chair. Where are we going?
You're allowed three places. Conference room, lobby, or the ambassador's office. Oh. Hush. I'm following the ambassador. Okay. Where are we going? They tell me it should only take a moment. And there. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, I guess. There we go. Okay, we have that. All right. Now it's off to House for Rooms Archive. And we got to go through a side entrance here at Gal Bank. All right. Well, not sure how shady this deal might be, but let's go see. She said something about uh, the security might be turned on. So let's switch up weapons. If it's going to be automated security, we probably want this weapon here. Automated is like the robots and stuff. So let's... Let's just do this. All right. House for room. Unlock with the room key. All right, here we are. House for room. Ah, this place looks like a mess. What's been going on here? All right, where are we going? Oh, over here is an elevator. Let's see if we can take it. All right. E activate. I guess we want the house for room embassy. I wonder what's on the other floors. Oh, this place looks. What the hell? Uh oh. Approach the intercom. Okay, hold on. You know, there's one other thing we need to do. Well, I guess there's a couple of things we need to do. But let's take some aid. Uh, let's take a heart. Let's take a amp. Let's take something that will... Uh, where's one that will help us with... That's carry capacity, persuasion. That's health. Oh. Uh, Oh, 80, okay, uh, plus 80 in it, yeah, that's a good one, let's, let's take that, and we need to take a, there we go, alright, let's go, let's go approach the intercom, where's the intercom at here? Okay, we gotta we gotta go deeper into the embassy, and I guess it's probably behind this door here. Ooh, house for room. Approach the intercom. All right, which is over there. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Can we get there? Oh, we can't. All right, this way. Oh boy. Uh oh. oh. I can't even see the damn thing. Where to go? Uh oh. Okay, that's that. All right. Oh crap. Oh, reload, reload. Come on. All right, that's that one's out of the way. Uh there was another one there. Did I get it? All right. 
Okay. All right, let's keep moving forward here. What's in here? Anything? What the? Oh, that freaking looks like a freaking dummy. Statue sitting here? What's that? Oh, hi. Oh, wait, that's good stuff. Uh, Nova Blaster, might as well take that. We're going to get rid of those. All right, so we're trying to get over here. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, crap. Ah, uh, you got me back in a corner. Get back. This is not good. Come on. Uh, let me get out from behind here. Oh, Jesus. Alright, there's one down. Oh, there's two. Man, that just come out of nowhere. Uh, maybe I shouldn't spend too much time pilfering. Permanently increases sneak bonus. Alright, yeah, we might as well do that. Alright, hop up here. Oh, great. I guess it's not through there? Is there a different way? Alright, I thought that kind of looked like it, but... Alright, well, I seem to be... can't get through there. Is there a different place to get? All right, I gotta get up through there. Ah, <clears throat> uh, come on. All right. Any place in through here? Nope. Okay, I think that's... I think we've got to jump up through there. Oh, there we go. There. I was just too close. Oh, great. And, of course, we got a turret right there. Naturally. All right. Oh, we'll take that credit stick. Sure, why not? Okay. Okay, is this where we gotta go? Oh, this can't be good. Oh, great. Yeah, sure, fine. Oh, great when I need to. Alright, that one's out of the way. Let's get that one. Alright. I better, uh, take a couple of these. Where's this? Is it over here? Alright, we gotta get to the... Oh, here it is. Alright. Activate that switch. Alright, now we're to... Okay, that's all activated. Alright. don't have to go back, do we? Oh, well. There's a robot there, so we must be on the right track. Let's reload you. Okay. Is this the right way? Let's open this door. Okay. Um... Well, this is the way I came in. That this can't that can't be right. All right, so we come through here. I'm working on it there, Mr. Varun. Uh, 
Uh, this way? Oh, down the stairs, maybe? Oh, that's inaccessible. Well, apparently it's not down here. Alright, so it's got to be back up. Over this way? Well, this is the room I came in. Okay, let's do this. Oh, come on, you're supposed to be helping me out here. Oh, this, so, okay, this way. Okay, around through here. Oh, there, I missed that upstairs. Okay. Upstairs we go. There we go. Huh. Let's grab that stuff while we're right there. Handy. Handy dandy. Why does it look like there's more... Oh yeah, where's it at? God, I'm just kind of shooting in the dark there. I guess I got it. Alright, there's another freaking robot. Oh, there he is. Man. Oh, there's two of them here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get back over here. Oh, sure, you're going to jump over that barrier. Alright, that one's done for. Oh, crap. There's another one. Okay, he's out of the way. Oh, one more? Damn. Alright. Alright. Uh, Alright. Okay. Still see another red dot. Where are we going? In here? Oh, crap. That was locked. Ah, damn it. Uh, all right. Uh, you know what? I don't think... Let's go ahead and hop out of this. I don't care if we're losing a digipick. I got plenty of them. We'll come back to that. I'm hoping that's not the way I gotta go, though. It is. Open this door. Oh, crap. All right. Where's there? All right. Oh, it's behind me that was shooting at me. All right, that's what was shooting at me. It was behind me. All right, there's the switch. All right, now we're to. Ah, uh, looks like we gotta go back. Uh... Okay, back we go. Okay... Uh... Well, we'll grab that. Novalite. Oh, pistol. Ah, we can take that. Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, back down the stairs, I think. Okay. All right. And then now we can go down the stairs. All right. In here. Open. Now it's accessible. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh, I see a route where to go. Oh, freaking dogs. Mechanical dogs. Oh, the, did the door shut on me? Crap, almighty. Let me get through this door here. There we go. All right. Oh, 
Oh, better take one of those. Alright. Aren't you dead yet? There, you... There, okay. Okay. Better take another med pack. Good lord, how many more? Th oh, crap. Oh, crap. That scared the crap out of me. Are you gonna... Dead. Duh. All right, all right, that's that one. Okay, eliminate the robots. Nice, okay. Oh, here we go. All right. So... What seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> a reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have okay. my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. All right, thanks, Ambassador. All right. Uh, speak with the Ambassador. Follow the Ambassador. Okay. I don't have to sit, do I? Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me, though. What is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack. Uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge and then... Silence. Yep. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Uh, the spaceport is in rough shape, but not much else was damaged. Yep. <sighs> is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. I would think. No, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door? Hmm? Uh-huh. the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Ah... Uh, <sighs> An archive code. Oh, you catch on quick, Ambassador. So the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, you uh, you catch on pretty quick, correct. We're going to use the data in the archives to better understand and stop these attacks. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But, if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. Of course. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Oh, you have my word on that. I will make sure it's used for good. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. All right, okay. Well, I'm waiting. Come on. <sighs> Let's hope it still works. Oh. I'm not stealing anything here. And there. Let it be used for good. Okay, I got it. All right, I got to return to the Deputy McIntyre. Okay, uh, let's see if we can make our way out of here. We shouldn't have to 
hit too much stuff. So once I get back to Deputy McIntyre, uh, yeah, we'll uh, kind of see what she has to say. Okay, we are just about to get back to McIntyre here. Captain, you're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait, did, did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe and Balmore? We're all in agreement. Code pieces from House Faroom and the Free Star collected and ready to be deployed. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? You got it. All right, well, let's see. I think we have got to a pretty good spot here. Uh, let me kind of just wander on out and we'll get back down to the plaza. Can we go out what? this way? Oh. Sorry, just a terramorph attack. I'm, I'm lucky to still be here. Of course you are, there's security. All right, let's get downstairs. Let's go to the lobby. And... Ah, yeah. Captain. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. Thank you. Okay, well, I think this is a excellent spot to stop. Oh boy, citizens, I'm just trying to talk here. Okay, so I think this is an excellent spot to stop. Uh, we will pick this up in the next episode and go see what this archive stuff is all about. All right, all you starfighters out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel. And uh, ring that bell. It'll uh, let you know when uh, I upload new videos to the channel. Okay, Starfighters, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.